I want to do a number of videos on integration or definite in indefinite integration. So let's start with the first question. If you can do this, try to do this yourself. This question and this is the next question. Okay, so you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay, let's start with the first question. So integration, integration, you don't have many formulas. Uh, but one of an elegant way of integrating is by substitution. So whenever, as a rule of a thumb, I'm going to uh, substitute the denominator as u in most of my examples. So I'm going to say let u is equal to x squared minus x squared plus 3. So first, when you're doing a u substitution, what you have to do is you have to change the whole thing in terms of u. So let's differentiate this. So du by dx is 2x. And by multiplying both sides by dx, I can write du is 2x dx, 2x dx. So I want you to pause this video and try to see if you can see 2x dx in the example. Okay, so if you look carefully, you can see this is 2x dx. So I'm going to rewrite this so that you see this better. So this is 2x dx over x squared plus 3. x squared plus 3. So this becomes integration of du over u. And this is writing same as 1 over u du. And integration of 1 over u is natural log of u plus c, the constant of integration. So in all my examples, I would like you to check your answer by differentiating your answer. So integration, when integrating a function, you should understand that function is a gradient function. So when you're integrating a function, you're integrating a gradient function, and you get back a function. So basically, this whole thing, this whole thing is your f dash x. This is your gradient function. And what you have got is your f of x. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, so when you're integrating a gradient function, you get a function. That means if you differentiate this, you should get back this. So let's do the differentiation. So d by dx, the operator of natural log of u. Oh, I forgot one step. Yeah, what is u? u is natural log of u is x squared plus 3, x squared plus 3 plus c. So this is your final answer. So d by dx of x squared plus 3 plus c. So c is a constant, so the derivative of c would be 0. So that will not play any role in the derivation. So d by dx of natural log of x using the chain rule. So natural log of x in differentiates to 1 over x squared plus 3. And then differentiating this function using the chain rule, you have to multiply, if you find a gradient, that is 2x. And which is 2x over x squared plus 3. And lo and behold, you've got the function. Okay, so this, or this is your f dash x. So you can give yourself a smiley face. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Again, you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so as I said, a good starting point is to let the denominator as u. Your differentiation skill and integrating, integ you should not confuse between these two things. So differentiating this, so do you can say du by dx is equal to this drop uh, dropping this power, so 2 times 3 is 6, x squared plus 8 x minus 2. So this is equal to, what can you factor out? You can factor out the 2. So this is 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. 
So slowly if you see, you're getting something from the numerator. So let me rewrite, so du by dx is equal to 2 times 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. Now if I want to cancel this, so I'm going to multiply this by 1 half. If I multiply this side by 1 half, you can also multiply this side by 1 half. So you can say this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So and now multiplying, so I can say the next step I'll write directly. So this is half du. I'm multiplying both sides by dx. So this dx will be cancelled. So 1 half du is 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 dx. And this is something that you learn by practice. Okay, this is how to look at the numerator and denominator. By slowly, by practice, you, you will be able to see there's a relation between this denominator and this numerator. So in place of this whole thing, I can write half du. And in place of this, I can write u. So this is integration of half Okay, so let me write like this. So can I write this? So this is du by 2. So I can write uh, 1 over u. This is 1 over u times half du. Okay, so this is, you can factor the half out. So this is half integration of 1 over u du, which is 1 over 2 times natural log of u plus c. So the final answer is half times natural log of uh, u is your denominator which is 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus c. So this is your final answer. So let's differentiate this and check whether our answer is right. This is a good way of checking or uh, practice in both skill of differentiation and integration in one example. So this is d by dx of half times natural log of 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus c. And c is a constant so the derivation or differentiation is 0. So this would be half, half is a product so half is a coefficient, so half times, differentiating this, this is 1 over this function, this is 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x. And now you use a chain rule, you have to differentiate this. So times, when you're differentiating this, you'll get 6x squared plus 8x minus 2. And the difference you know this is zero so this is half times but this is the numerator so this is over one and if you factor the two out so this is two times three x squared plus four x minus one over the denominator which is two x cubed plus four x squared uh, minus 2x. So this and this gets cancelled and this is what a gradient function was which is 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 over 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x. Okay and so you have checked that the answer is right so you can give yourself a star. Okay. I wanted to look at this question, question 3 and question 4, and uh, try to do this yourself. I'll come back in my next video.